So Noel's question is about a graphical user interface and whether it's still worth it to get a patent on it. Well, <clears throat> yes, if it is something you're going to be, that, that is a market differentiator. Okay. And I've got a really cool uh, part of our website. I don't want to get too much into this right now, but it's called the patent success matrix. And let me just see if I can pull up a, a link to that. I'm working on uh, trademarking it, by the way, right? I'm following my own advice. Um, so patent success matrix, yeah. And it talks about having, there, there's two axes. Um, you know, and maybe I will, I'll, I'll, let me just break away. I'm gonna go to share screen. All right, take a minute here. Fully answer your question here. I'll copy the URL in case anybody's not able to screen share. And I'll plug it into the, into the live here, okay? Because, Patenting is just half the, half the uh, equation, all right? Well, I hate to admit it. You can have the most patentable product and like, you know, the most novel, right? For just absolutely cutting edge, no one's ever even thought of it before, even close to it, right? But if there's no market for it, right? If the industry or market size isn't there, there's you know, huge barriers to entry. Uh, the you know, the te technology or the products, uh, you know, there's, there's really no demand. Yeah, it's not going to have success in the market. Okay, and the same is true, right? The opposite is true, I should say. So very, you know, super marketable, you know, mainstream product. Uh, but if there's only marginal patentability, it likely won't be successful either because of the you know, the deluge of competition or the you know just the fact that you won't have enough differentiation in that huge market. So I gave you that link. Check that out. I talk more about it on the article. Um, but short story, Noel is if you've got you know, a, a user interface that has a huge market potential and it's novel, yeah, you ought to secure patent protection for that. Um, and graphical user interfaces are, are, for those that don't know, they're protected under design patents, okay? Design patents cover just what something looks like, okay? Not what they do, okay? So software, right, you know, computerized uh, technology definitely has functionality as well. And there's lots of patents still being issued today with respect to those business methods and those analytics, uh, you know, data um, uh, repositories, you know, verification, viability, uh, that's the functional, right? What the software does, but what it looks like, right? You know, the, the, the probably the most you know, easiest, well-known example is, you know, like an app, all the different apps on the, on the front of your phone, right? How they're organized. That's an interface, right? That's a user interface. So if your app or your software device has its own interface, right? Think about, you know, pretty well-known apps like Quick, QuickBooks or, you know, LinkedIn or Facebook, they've got very specific ways they organize information. That's a user interface. You can protect that as a design path, okay? Just the way that it looks. So um, I know that's me rambling for a little bit, but it, there's a lot of value there and they're definitely still filed and uh, viable today.